Welcome to the Canadian Nature Photographer. I'm Robert Burdan and I'm going to walk you through the steps to create an impressionistic image or digital art. You can use any photo, photos that have oh, an overcast sky, lots of fine detail seem to work particularly well. The first thing we need to do is open up the layers palette. You can go window, layers, or you can select it from one of the side panels. Select the background layer, right click on it, and go duplicate. You can also use a shortcut, Control J. Now let's turn the visibility of the top layer off by unselecting the eyeball. So we're only looking at this background layer. Select the background layer, and we're going to increase its brightness by about 150%. Select Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Take the brightness and move it all the way over to about 150 and then say OK. This simulates a, a two-stop overexposure. Now select the top layer, turn it back on, and we're going to reduce the opacity to about 50%. Now this image here, we're going to create a soft focus effect by blurring it. To do that, select Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now there's no specified amount, but the more you blur the image, the bigger the glow is. I'd recommend starting somewhere between 5 and 10. So I'm going to start on this one with 5, and you can click before and after. It creates the out of focus effect. Say OK. Now I would recommend bringing the opacity back to about 75 or 80 percent. And this image here, when I flatten it, uh, might work uh, just well, but I'm also going to uh, modify the blending mode. You've got different ones that you can play with. I'm going to select Multiply. Then I'm going to flatten the layers, close the layers palette, and I'm going to brighten the image a little bit by going Image Adjustments Levels. I'm just going to pull the highlights down a little bit. This will result in increasing the overall brightness. Then I'm going to go Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation. I like images that are a little more saturated, so I'm just going to pump it up just a little bit here, about plus 15. And finally, I'm going to sharpen it. It may uh, seem uh, contradictory to sharpen a, a blurred image, but it kind of gives it a, a bit of an edge. So I'll select Unsharp Mask. Threshold 0 means sharpen everything. Set the radius to 1. The amount varies is when I click on this window here, and you can set it to different places. You can set it more or less depending on your taste. I'm going to set this to about 117. Say OK. And now you have your finished image. If I go to the history, we can take a look at this is what we started with and here's the final result. That's all there is to it. You can rewind and play this as many times as you like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it interesting.